Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a look at your next 72 hours. So let's get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a beat when I post. And if you would like a personal consultation with me so we can identify what's going on in your situation, check out the description box. My information for my website will be listed there. Okay, Gemini's. How is their next 72 hours going to go? Okay, so the overall energy you guys are going to come into, we have the Nine of Cups. The energy you guys currently are in, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The challenge that may come up is the Everything is Fine card, which is the Ten of Swords. The Advice from Spirit, we do have the Two of Swords. And the outcome of this time frame, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the two cards that we also pulled from my Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, we have uh, we have boundaries and we have fruition. Interesting. Okay, so let's talk about this. So the first card, this is going to be the overall energy you guys are coming into. So with the Nine of Cups, this is actually being able to recognize what will make you feel fulfilled overall. This is also being able to recognize that personal happiness is the key in anything. You're not going to be able to be happy in a relationship, be happy with a job opportunity, be happy with anything if you don't have a personal sense of self-love and self-worth and self-understanding as well. Um, so this is you guys recognizing what you truly want out of life, not what you thought you wanted at one point, not what seemed to be, you know, the, the move for you. No, this is like recognizing what will completely make you feel content in terms of emotional fulfillment. Now, for some of you, there could be some things that you feel like are missing. Even though you may be in a space of contentment, there may be a piece of you that feels like something emotionally is missing. And that's going to be different for each and every one of you, what you feel like is missing. But when it comes to your current energy, I do have the eight of Pentacles. So this could be you being in grind mode. This is like focusing on your career, focusing on working on personal development. For some of you, this is like working out or pinpoint parts of your body that you would like to look different and figuring out how exactly you can eat better or incorporate better diets. Um, some of you guys, this could be trying to work out a relationship with someone that's not really going the direction you would like it to, or that may have ended recently. And some of you could just be trying to wait until the job comes through. But when it comes to the obstacle that may come up during this time frame, I do have the everything is fine card. So this could be you being in this energy of coming out of basically a difficult time. This could be betrayal that you went through or disappointment in association with someone who you thought you were going to have a long lasting relationship with or you expected it to go a lot further. And then... Things ended and this may have defeated you as a person because you may have invested so much into this connection. Um, some of you, this is just more of a defeatist attitude. This could be you feeling as if you didn't succeed the way that you all the way would have liked to up until this point and just automatically getting into this mindset of, oh, I'm never going to be successful or even doubting the success you may have now because some of you guys are accomplished in the current moment and you just still feel like, you have imposter syndrome or you're not quite there. Some of you guys, also the obstacle may be ending a connection with someone that's kind of already going in the direction of ending on its own or like staying attached to somebody who's betrayed you repeatedly. Now, the message from spirit here with the two of swords, this is 
making up your mind. This is making a clear decision on exactly which way you want to move here. Um, this is also making sure that you're not allowing yourself to be held by indecision, even though a decision may be hard for you to make, especially with the facts given at this point. Um, but you still need to do what's best for you and indecision and being in this energy of not making moves because it may be uncomfortable is, is basically self-limiting. And also if you have somebody like this around you, who's indecisive about what they want, you may need to cut them off. Now the outcome of this time frame, I do have the seven of swords. So some of you guys may be catching somebody in some lies here. This could be a friend lying to you, or this could be somebody romantically. Um, this could also be you guys feeling like your relationship's not it anymore. You may be cheating yourself. Again, take this reading out applies. Also with the seven of swords, um, this could be just avoidance. So you could be avoiding somebody specifically, or some of you guys could be feeling like somebody's avoiding you or being sneaky. Some of you guys also may just be ignoring your own inner truth as well. So be careful of that. But let's talk about these other cards here. So the first one I want to address is the boundaries card. And point blank period, we all know what boundaries are. This is about making sure that you don't have people around you who cross your personal boundaries, but also that you have them up in the first place. So people won't be able to walk all over you, basically. Um, this is also understanding that you you treat people or not treat people. You teach people how to treat you. So if you give off the energy of there not being boundaries that's there and people can disrespect you and do all those things, you may need to look at what you're giving off to people. Okay. And then the other card I want to address is the fruition card. This might be a good card. So this one is about manifesting, but this is also about abundance. This is like the beginnings uh, of stuff starting to kick off. So for a lot of you, you guys are just now in the beginning stages of manifesting. You guys are going to start to see the fruits of your labor manifest. Interesting. Okay. Well, um, and then this, this card is also... Yeah, this, this card is also about making sure that you're taking time to feed your body and nourish your body correctly as well. If you're somebody who's just always on the go, you may be needing to nurture your body a little bit more as well. But this reading was pretty good. I like this reading. Thank you, Geminis, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs this video up, subscribe. If you need a personal consultation to pinpoint what's going on in your situation, check out the description box. Uh, my website will be listed there and book you a phone session so we can talk on the phone. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.